This is part 24 of Bootstrap tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to control the height and width of Bootstrap form controls. Here, we have the list of Bootstrap classes that help us control the height and width of form controls. To control the width of the form controls, use the Bootstrap grid classes. To control the height of the form controls, use input LG or input SM classes. To control the height of the form controls and associated labels on a horizontal form, use form group LG or form group SM classes. Let's look at a few examples now. Let's flip to Visual Studio. Here we have got a form with two form groups. Within the first form group, we have a label and a text box. And in the second form group, we have a label and a select element. If we view this page in the browser, this is how those form controls look like. Notice the form controls span the entire width of the container. Now what we want to do is limit the width of these form controls. We can achieve that simply by using the bootstrap predefined grid classes. Let's see how to do that. I'm going to wrap this form group inside a row. So for that, let's create a div element with class set to row. And let's move this closing div element right here. And then on this form group, I'm going to use call excess 3 grid class. This is going to limit the width of these two form controls to three columns in the 12 column bootstrap grid system. Let's do the same thing with the other form group that we have here. So let's wrap this inside a row. And on this form group, let's use call access3 grid class. Let's save our changes. And when we reload this page, notice the form controls are now three columns wide within the 12 column bootstrap grid system as expected. The height of the form controls that we see here is the default height. To control the height of the form controls, we may use input LG or input SM classes. At the moment, we are not using any of these two classes. So the height that we are getting here is the default height. To set a larger height, use input LG class. Let's look at that in action. So on the input element right here, along with the form control class, I am also going to use input LG class. LG stands for large. And on the select element also here, I'm going to use the same class, input LG. Let's see our changes. And when we reload this page, notice the height changes as expected. To set a smaller height, use input SM instead of input LG class. Let's look at that in action. So instead of input LG, I'm going to use input SM. And let's do the same thing here. Let's see our changes. And when we reload the page, notice the height changes as expected. Finally, let's discuss how to control the height of the form controls and their associated labels on a horizontal form. First, let's convert this vertical form to a horizontal form. To convert this to a horizontal form, the first thing that we need to do is use form horizontal class on the form element. We don't need this row, so I'm going to delete it. We don't need this call access 3 class on this form group div, so I'm going to delete that as well. And then on this label element, I'm going to use control label class. And we want this label to be one unit wide, so let's use call access 1 class. And then let's wrap this text box inside another development with class set to call access 3. So this is going to make the text box control three columns wide in the 12 column bootstrap grid system. So label is one unit wide and this text box is three units wide. Let's do the same thing with the other form group that we have here. So we don't need the row. I'm going to delete that first. And we don't have to use this call access three class right here. And on the label, we are going to use control label class. And since we want this label also to be one column wide, let's use call access one class. And then let's wrap this select element inside a div element with class set to call access three. That's going to make the select element three columns wide. 
let's save our changes and when we reload this page we should get a horizontal form as expected now the height that we see here is the default height to set a larger height for the form controls and their associated labels we use form group lg class let's use that class on the form group that we have here so along with the form group class we are going to use form group lg class let's do the same thing on this form group as well let's save our changes and when we reload this page notice now the height of the form controls and their associated labels change as expected to set a smaller height instead of using form group lg use form group sm class let's save our changes and when we reload the page the height changes as expected thank you for listening and have a great day